Alright, family, so right now, um, we're about to hop into some, uh, some horror games in a few fam, but let's react to Inside Alabama Meth Mountains by Bomiji. Bomiji, let's, let's jump into it, let's jump into it. Alright, folks, today, we're exploring What the back. fuck is that tattoo on Tommy G neck, bro? Oh, behind his ear. Let's run that back. I would say so. Would this be enough to kill me? Alright, folks, today, bro, we're exploring hey, Meth yo, Mountain, and behind me to... is a meth lab that blew up. Meth Mountain? Oh. It's a low key fire, son. Dang. And then he put a gun to his back and said, Let's go. Yeah, right, yo, we gotta give it to Tommy G, bro. These edits are like indubitably fire, bro. Let's put this shit in a 4K real quick. When you dive into rural communities around America, you Let's come go. to discover that meth is remarkably easy to find. For the last few decades, American communities have been flooded with amphetamines. Let me take you up to speed on how this came to be. Meth was first synthesized in 1893 by a Japanese chemist. Over time, it became prescribed by doctors to help with things like weight loss, narcolepsy, and asthma. Due to its ability to keep soldiers awake and wired, it was the drug of choice for World War II combatants like Japanese kamikaze pilots and German blitzkrieg troops. For the years leading up to the 1980s, the flow of amphetamines was in large part controlled by motorcycle gains like the Hells Angels. However, in the 1990s, Big Pharma took over as the leading supplier when they created drugs like Adderall and Ritalin. Ooh. These drugs are chemically similar to meth and they are prescribed by doctors to millions of American youth to combat things like oh, ADHD. Fuck, so much so that a 2016 article by the New York Times referred to millennials as Generation Adderall. This trend made Big Generation Pharma billions Adderall, of dollars. For today's story, we go explore Meth Mountain. A place in Alabama that earned its name due to the amount of meth labs and meth users. All of really? what you are about to see are for educational purposes only. We're here in Gadsden, Alabama. We're waiting for our local contact, Lauren. And I just have a feeling she's pulling up in a pickup truck. What is this place known for? Just a regular neighborhood. When I first talked to you, you thought like I was going to be fuck? asking you for money. Are there a lot of sketchy people asking you for money these days? Yeah. yeah. Has that increased a lot in the last few years? Yeah. Do you feel like the Biden administration is watching out for the people of Gadsden? Do you feel represented? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. If Trump uh -oh, came back really? in the office, how really? would you feel about that? Tell the truth, I feel bad. Why is that? He wasn't doing what he was supposed to do. I feel a lot, bro. I don't get into politics that much, but all I know is that if there's a war, Trump could lead us to victory. He, he, He'd actually put his foot down, bro, and be like, "Yo, send the nukes, bro. Send the boys over there, bro." Like I feel like, like I feel like Trump will be just a dope ass military sergeant. Can can y'all agree with me, chat? Can y'all agree? With me? Where the heck are we right now? Atala. Atala. We're at Atala here. That's and over there. Were we just in kind of a sketchy area? Very sketchy. That's why I didn't even think about that Walmart because I don't ever go to that Walmart. <laughs> Hey, I love you, family, son. That's where our boy Tommy G is from. Hey, hey. And what percent of locals do you think know it as meth rock? Everybody. So from what I understand, you have to be pretty smart to figure out how to make it. Like, it's not an easy thing to make. I've never tried to make it, but I know people who have, who have made it. I mean, it's chemistry and a lot of math and a lot of knowing what mixes together and what doesn't. Because if it goes wrong, things can go kaboom. <laughs> Damn. Just feet from the flames. Meth house? Group of people rushing to get back. They Yo. believe people were cooking meth at the house. Something got out of hand, sparking flames, which then ignited several propane Yo, tanks. yeah, nah, oh, fam. A big bang. I, I feel like I know this due to the fact that I just played Payday. And you see that, like, all my Payday players, you know when you got that little mission when you making the meth? I know. That shit explode right in your face and then you die? Yeah, that. Bro! Bro! Quickly. And are there places around here that have blown up from a meth lab gone wrong? Oh yeah, we've had a we've had the fire department has had to respond to several. They will be busting a lab when the people run, everything kind of turns, you know, knocks over, things mix, causes it to blow up. And then they have another kind that's different. I don't have my phone on, but yeah, I think it's gonna relax. I'm gonna throw my shit on the bed. You add everything into a two liter and shake it. Okay. There we go. What Popping percentage? out of people in this area you think are into meth. So what I would say about the whole city's in the meth. Fuck her statistics, the whole city, bro. What got you into it and what got you out of it? Well, I'm from Kentucky, so Kentucky. for me it was opiates. Oh, uh, Kentucky. Uh, it was $2 a 
$2 a milligram. So just one 80 milligram was $160. How long would that last? I mean, I would have to have four or five a day. So, and see you'll see, a I was about to say, yeah, that's what I was going to point out. You'll see it. You'll see a lot of that covering Ooh. up a lot of windows. That's pretty popular here. Alabama for y'all, bro. Blue like bonnets. Alabama. When ran it up, I ain't even have an option. He say he won't smoke now his ass in the coffin. Where are we right now? Here, oh, just outside of the That's our Cal, Alabama. Community oh, code, Sand Valley. Some of the locals told us that this place is also known as Meth Mountain to some people. That's me. That's why you gotta be careful, bro. And fam, I think it was um on Saturday. Like, I seen niggas just doing drugs on a train, family. Like, this woman, she was smoking her little crack pipe or whatever she was smoking, bro. And she was smoking that shit right next to me and me and my girl, bro. And, yo, when I turn around, all I see is that crack smoke coming towards me. I'm like, nah. I dipped and I yanked on my girl, bro. I'm like, we out, bro. And she stayed because she didn't know what was going on, bro. I really hope you ain't inhale that crack smoke, bro. I hope Cause that shit is crazy. I seen somebody doing crack on the train, bro. I seen somebody sitting down at the train, stop doing crack, bro, or drugs, whatever the fuck. And I seen some nigga sitting on the ground crawling, or like he was just crouching with his needle in hand, lighter or something. But you need to take note of that, Beto. You need to take note. I know I'm looking out for you, but you need to take fuck note, bro. But Jesus, gotta be aware of your um surroundings, family, bro. You never know when these maniacs gonna start smoking these drugs. Get that that second. Contact high. Please. Second hand contact guys. How long have you been a firefighter for? 25 years. Damn, okay, have nigga. you ever gone to a call where a meth lab blew up? Yes. Tell me a story that comes I to did, mind. I was probably there that had the uh, whole end blowed off of it. Had a female that was burned from waist down. Being a fireman hey. sounds nice, but I imagine some of the things you have to see are pretty tough for a man to see. Oh yeah, I have PTSD from it. What do you think could be done yeah, to PTSD. help the fentanyl and meth crisis that's hitting here, but also hitting so many places in America? Close the borders. Why do you think the borders are as open as they are right now? Because the politicians got more worried about their money getting in their pockets than they're about their citizens. Everyone so, kind of so. feels like they're getting by the government right now. Do you feel that? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Pays low. Prices are going up. It's kind of hard to. Yeah, I ain't finna cat family. This nigga ain't lying, bro. And on me, bro, I know y'all all know this shit. For my niggas who live in Ohio, from niggas who live in LA, bro, all the people watching me, bro, even if you from Canada, I think you going through it, bro. Prices is fucking going up. Pay is low, bro. Like, come on, bro. And then, like, it don't even help that, like, if they would have raised the pay, like, five or three dollars, bro, it's, it's still gonna be a fucking struggle. Make a living. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. If we just see people out and about, you think people are pretty open to chatting, or you think we should be careful? Be careful. Yeah. Be real careful. And what makes you say that? I went on calls before and had guns pulled on me. Even though you're a fireman Even helping? Though, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm wearing my <laughs> fast shoes today. Yeah, exactly. Keep them tight. Thank you. Hey, all right. They got a little threat in Alabama. They don't want them to catch some sister fucking. We're stopping to check out some of the abandoned places here. Bullet holes in the church door. What the fuck? Bullet holes? Yo. I almost think this is a symbol, a greater symbol of like the church falling and the church collapsing and drugs taking over. I think America used to be a much more Christian place and agree with that stuff or not. It kept people on a certain path in life. True, true. And when Nietzsche said God is dead, the question that comes after that is what replaces God? I'm, I'm a rapper, I'm a freestyle rapper. Oh, I actually really? just got done in my barrel, so. Um, but yeah, this is actually one of the most darkest parts in the valley. Right over there on that property, there was a double homicide and a suicide. Ever since hey. then, every time somebody tries to build over there or something goes on, they always leave. Right over here, there used to be rituals and stuff on this road, we call it Party Road. Okay. And they used to be actual like demon worshippers that would have rituals and circles and you can they block oh, the trail off but there used to be uh, patterns and stuff up there and you can see all kinds of creepy stuff where they've done rituals this seems and, like a place where kind of just strange things happen yes, all the time actually a red house down the road it's about four houses down on the left and right. they actually worship Satan. Like, wait, wait, wait. We're just down the street from some Satan worshipers? Yeah, yeah. Damn. And we love Jesus. We're Jesus oh. worshipers. And oh, really? um, <laughs> that's a red house that's kind of on a hill. It's like four houses down on the left. If you swing by on Halloween day, they'll be outside all day in these little masks, like dancing and singing and all kinds of stuff. Motherfuckers is hitting them with the little ooga booga woogie woogie buggy. Because, <laughs> bro, they looking like this on screen right now. They looking like some family guy bozos, bro. Jesus.
<laughs> I can just imagine, bro. Them doing some ooky, spooky, blooky, hooky type shit, bro. Summoning some shit. That shit made no sense. Wait, that yeah. Should we stop by it? Yeah. We're going to a mess. Nah, lab bro. Lab. Tell me they stop by the fucking house, bro. Nah, tell me not stopping by the house is crazy, bro. Look, we just was driving by him. Tell me not stopping Here. by the house is wild. This is like hills have eyes a little bit. Like, eyes are on you. Someone, someone's ready with a rifle to shoot you. Drum music is crazy, so the knife's gonna count. When a math lab blows up, tell me about what happens and what you've heard about. Most people are wearing synthetic clothing now. It melts with the skin. You can't pull it off. So people's clothes melt to them? Melt to them. They can't get it off. It literally just burns with the skin. It sounds hey. horrible. If we kept driving, we would probably see several other places like this. All right, folks, we just got invited hey. to a music video, so we're going to go check it out. Oh, what? Niggas getting invited to a music, music video now? Uh, uh, not today. We're that's actually right, that's pre right. preparing the, the scenery back here. It's not like, you know, some fancy music scene. This is actually where he started out rapping and stuff like that. So what's the idea, what's the concept for this one? Now, during the days, oh, you can catch me at 11 o'clock our term, and I'll be rapping in this barrel, freestyling, and it'll be filled with water, and I'll be dunking in it if people send a certain, like, a certain gift. I'll dunk it while I'm rapping and come back out of the water still rapping. Sometimes I'll Can you imagine just popping out the water real quick, hitting them with the low. Oh, I'm about to be rapping the packing, I'm about to have a habit, the habit, the habit, the packing, and I'm a rabbit, and a rabbit, and a rabbit, and I'm a scratching, the scratching, the scratching, and I'm a bubble, 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 balls. Go back into the water. Oh, oh my god, a galaxy! I'm stacking the rabbit and scratching my balls, and I'm slapping, and I'm slapping my bitch, and I'm about to have a habit, habit, That's what it's giving, bro. Is that what this nigga be doing, bro? That should be funny as hell. Don't be diving in. It's crazy. Trying to make a music video that's kind of combining that because this yeah. is also the root of where it all started. Okay. And we're going to try to try to spice something up. Now, I did used to live here in this camper. This is actually uh, his family's property. Right after high school, he actually let me move my camper and my dad got me onto his property because my family was splitting up. Damn, is this a why? tree fort or deer stand? That's oh. actually for the swing. Oh, wow. You want to do the thing? You want to show yeah, him the thing? Show him Tommy, don't kill, don't kill yourself, man, by accident. Yeah. I be getting what to the, the money, fuck? bitch. I got a bag, I don't got a stress. Oh, got real killers in the stands. Say no one, you should come and test. Dang, I ain't what talking about the hard drive and hop out of Brother, you could join a circus, huh? Yo, <laughs> yeah, that was we dope. in the holler right now. We're in the valley. Okay, we're in what the makes something on, What do we what do we wanna say? If people worship that motherfucker, I'm not going in the woods. Fuck that. That's annoying as fuck. Why they gotta do that when I'm live streaming? But bro. I mean, all of that, all of that worship and shit really be going on like in the woods in general. Like that all that weird shit, bro, that you be seeing online, bro, all that worship and shit where they doing the ooga booga, ooga booga, ooga booga. Like all that that shit is like that should be going on in the woods, bro. I feel like for them, that's the best place to do it, bro. It ain't nobody gonna see you, but it's the fucking woods. So deep. So I gotta be the best. No matter how loud you holler, nobody's gonna hear you. <laughs> really? <laughs> I actually used to work at McDonald's when we lived here. Well, we really? started getting so good on TikTok that we really didn't have to work for McDonald's anymore. And then they flew us out to LA and officially really? hired us. And uh, so now we work Damn. full time TikTok. That's what we do. I'm live streamer. How That's is that? Cool. It's awesome. <laughs> it's great. In about four or five Yo, months, I should do that. that. We moved out. Me and my bro Wes. We got our spot right up the right up the mountain, the Meth Mountains. Is it? Do you do local? <laughs> I mean, like that? Yo, I fam, like how would y'all feel if I put my webcam up webcam up here and started streaming on TikTok? Yo, how would you feel about my webcam being a PP one? Would that be fire or L? I heard that a lot. I never got into that, and I'm not gonna lie. Man, I, like I was stupid. 20. I was on a dark path. You yeah. know, I grew up without a dad. I didn't meet him until I was 20, and my mom was Wait, gone. Wait, who meet his father? Before I was 20, I was on a dark path. You yeah. know, it's awesome. <laughs> it's great. It's been about four or five months that we've moved out. Me and my bro Wes, we got our spot right up the right up the mountain. Oh, the mountain. Yeah. Is it? Did you do local I mean, like that? when I was in like high school, I heard that a lot. I never got I into that. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Before I was 20, I was on a dark path. You yeah. know, I grew up without a dad. I didn't meet him until I was 20. And Damn, my mom bro, imagine not meeting your dad till you was like 20 something, bro. That's wild, bro. You just lived your whole life without seeing the man that literally like brought you in this world. That's crazy. When like he he came and you saw him. The rigmarole happened. The ooga booga happened. The the the, the spooky scary hoo hoo happened. <laughs> That's the new name for it, bro. Whenever we gonna mention some of that weird saying bullshit, bro, we gonna say the ooga booga shit. That's what we gonna mention it as. It's alright, but if you if you can make shit happen, I do that shit. I do that shit. Yeah, cause bro, cause yo, there's a there's a thing now, be one where I could go live on Instagram live, bro. Randomly, I wanna go live on Instagram live, bro. I wanna be a full time creator for just one of these apps. That should be dope.
mom was gone all the time working, kind of did what I wanted, and I, I did fall into drugs, but I never did that. It was more like hallucinogens. And then I got saved by a higher power. It wasn't by a man, it wasn't by a book or a church. It was by a higher power. I accepted that. What was that higher power? a different life. What does rent go for? What do you mean? Two or three hundred dollars a month. It really just depends Damn. on who you find. I'm sorry to keep pausing in this one fucking area, but there's so much knowledge here. Yo, Ben, you imagine living for two hundred or three hundred dollars a month? That, oh, oh, that, that, that's beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> if you find, dope. you know, somebody that owns another house and they're willing to let it go for that, you know. That's but, um, like if it works on TikTok, then go. Then who gives a fuck? What it like, what it look like. Hey, yeah, I, I, I guess, bro. Crazy cheap. Like, I've never seen a place that, that I can get for two or three hundred dollars a month. Right. So, normally, what it is is people come through with comments and they comment random words, mm -hmm. but each person gives me one word. I can throw those into the mix while I'm going. You got a word? Bang. Like, popping okay. glizz, I'm popping lids. I'm over here popping seven. <laughs> I'm popping lid, I'm popping flip. I'm over here popping the Mac 11. I'm popping Liz, I'm popping Riz, and I can show you my 11s. <laughs> Pull outside, I'm a 7 Eleven. <laughs> my mean in your house, then that means it's an A7. <laughs> if I bring my bitch to your house, that means that's a 4 7. So leave that bitch, Goofy. <laughs> I'm basically practically taking your house, Goofy, and I'm living in that bitch. Get the fuck out. It's mine now, bro. It ain't you finna pay my rent. I'm joking. That's just a mass stupid. Um, my house is eight fifty. Nigga, you telling me you pay hundred fifty dollars worth of rent every month, bro? You crazy, bro? <laughs> Yo, that that that's geeky, bro. How much do you make a month though, B one? Do you work, my boy? Do you even own your own crib? My real question. Ooh, I just remember something. I could go live on Rumble, but that app is trash. Nah, that app is where fucking dumbasses go. Bro, my name is CJ. I just hope you understand. I'm trying to make a hundred or maybe a thousand grand. Damn. You know, I'm about to make it to the top. I understand. I'm about to make the bank. You know, I'm about to stack it for the man. I'm about to grow up. You know, I'm really about to show up. They want to take me out the box like I was just Crayola or maybe Ooh. a crayon. You know, they really moving on. I'm paying pictures, illustrating. They thinking they want to yarn. Hey. And you can find me at West underscore Smith 7. Oh. Maybe the number one freestyle Smith on the seven. channel show. Uh, all the gangster rappers we've interviewed that don't want to freestyle for the camera, this guy's got you beat, all right? Nah, the, the, white be the, the, the white boy beat him, bro. No, yeah. the white boy beat him, bro. Boring. Absolutely. Just yeah. follow me. This is the cave. <laughs> right next door, huh? Okay. All right, so now that we're in a cave and we're getting deep, let me ask you guys a deep okay. question, okay? Do you guys feel represented under Joe Biden? No. No. Do you guys feel better with Trump? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I no feel hesitation. better with Truman in this and country. Why? He's a lot more there in his head. He can ride a bike. True. He can walk upstairs without falling, you know. Do you guys feel proud to be Americans? Yeah, always. We really are free, man. I was able to quit my job working at McDonald's to, to become a full-time TikToker. You know what I'm saying? So That's dope as fuck, bro. Shout, shout out to him. Shout out to him. Shout out to him. Shout out to him. Shout out to my boy. STDs, that was something that Alabama was known for. And you got a lot of drugs, like you said, that was called Meth Mountain. Is because people are so bored that they have nothing else to do. So you find all these crazy things happening. I heard the same thing in the hoods too. Is like mm. the reason things are the way they are is partly just because kids have nothing else to do. How do you solve that? I was one of those kids. You know, I didn't know my dad until I was 20. My mom was always working, so I was really on the streets doing whatever I wanted to with kids that called themselves my friends. But as soon as I really needed something, I, they were nowhere to be found. But I was always there for them. Before that tree fell, I, I can relate that blue to that girl that you see me in the live. I was way up there on the hill. I was supposed to stop before I came over this hill, but I came over the hill and I dropped right there. The fuck, nigga? Oh, oh, dude, did he just put that nigga in a barrel? Um, probably. What the? He don't even know if he had a concussion. I used to like get out of the house and stuff a lot, and I would run over to this place that used to be friends with my dad. This guy, he had a wife and they had three kids. The woman that he was married to had some kind of relationship with uh, some other guy or whatever. He knew their Damn. schedule because he stayed over there all the time. The father would go to work normal hours in the day, you know, like a nine to five. The kids would get on a bus, no. go to school, come back late. The mother worked a night shift. When the kids went to school, when the man went to work and then the lady was home, he had went in the house, lady, shot her in the Damn. head on the bed. Oh again after she was oh. went back in fell asleep on the couch school bus pulls up oh. kids get home go inside the trailer oh my he wakes God. up hey uncle so so what are you doing here like i thought you left you know the other day and i was like well, where's mama time oh passes and the boy and he went to his mom's bedroom door and he said when he put his hand on the doorknob that's he, wicked as fuck you how are you that wicked to r word somebody pop they lid 
R word the mother. The fuck going on, bro? Put a hand on his shoulder, grab him, and turn him around, and he had a gun in his face and said, "Go tie your sisters up right now with this duct tape." And he oh said, no, no. no! And then when he said no, he had pistol whipped him in the face, tied him up with duct tape. He said that he woke up from the pistol whip with his sisters right there. By this time, the daddy had gotten home. He said the same thing, Johnny. I'm like, what are you doing here? He had led him back there to the bedroom, and then he put a gun to his back. And said let's go and he made him open the door he made him look at his wife naked and dead he had him at gunpoint and they used to play video games all the time when the, the first fuck, shooting games bro? and stuff would come out the man nah, said to wicked. the father i'm gonna show you how it feels to get shot in real life he shot him four or five times in the back the boy no. gets out of the duct tape so he called his grandparents and his grandparents called 911. he set his sisters free at that point they'd swat team news crews there's a helicopter because he was still in the trailer that's wicked bro what happened next isn't allowed on youtube full story on the patreon no Tommy G, please Tommy G. why do that to us bro bro oh my god bro that shit is fucking wild bro that's a crazy story bro that shit wicked bro right here we can actually walk over here i'll show you the entrance behind these gates the most brutal of murders and rape yeah. We're gonna go to the top of this mountain and see what we find. All right, sounds good. Take it oh, easy. Man, too, man. We explored deep into the folds of Meth Mountain, and we were able to find a man that had first-hand experience in a trailer full of an awful lot of meth. So we sat down and we spoke to him. What well, got you started bro, I'm in, in disbelief. the world of meth? So did you have an injury or what started to box? Yeah, I ripped my foot. So you got prescribed legal painkillers by your doctor? Yeah. No. You found some from a friend? Do you view meth as beneficial in your life or no. negative? Yeah. You yeah. seem like a normally functioned human. Like the average person, if they were to see you in the street, they might not know. No, they wouldn't. How long have you been doing meth for? Eight, nine years. What was your why first you go hit up? Hell no. Why go to the woods? I mean, the only reason I see people going to the woods, bro, if you go camping, that's why I'll be honest. All right, fuck out of here, bro. If you go camping nowadays, bro, you just, what, what the fuck are you doing? Just go to go to. She wants to go camping. We could go camping. I, I, but not, nah, we could go camping, babe. That, that's cool. Nah, nah, nah. I never said that. I, I want to go camping. I want to go camping. I want to go camping. Nah, nah, nah. I never said that, babe. I never, never, I never said that. Like, I want to go camping now. Nah, but on some real shit, though, if you go camping, bro, you just crazy, bro. Especially in a crazy part of the woods, bro. Next thing you gonna get, next thing that's gonna happen, you gonna get eaten by a bear, bro. Camping? Hell nah. It ain't 1980s no more, nigga. It's 2023. I don't trust nobody, bro. Yo, they could be, a, they could low key be a dumber out there, nigga. You never know, bro. Little fucking wrong turn type shit. What was that movie called? Wrong turn? Wrong turn one, wrong turn two, like some shit like that, bro. Final destination. I don't, I don't know, fam. I don't know. It was a movie called Wrong Turn, though. Maybe camp in front of the yard. Like, where a nigga in your backyard, oh, but you got a yard, babe. <laughs> upstairs but <laughs> it's the concrete yard bro but nah bro camping in the woods bro is just too much my nigga. where you gonna take a shit at um you gonna be lark wait what the fuck maybe camping in front of the yard you gonna you gonna lark the ooga booga rituals bro you gonna alarm the ooga booga ritual people that that that's what you're trying to say bro yeah bro you don't want to be roaming around in the woods bro before you see joe pocket in the woods bro let me stop <laughs> Uh, I watched all of them. Uh, the inbreds is what you talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, exactly. Fucking exactly. Oh my god, bro. Yes, the ooga boogas. Um, the, 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 the inbreds. Yes, the, the little inbred people. Yes, bro. Fam, look at that chat right there. The inbreds, bro. That shit was crazy, bro. Yo, babe, have you watched Wrong Turn? Oh my god, bro. The people getting R worded in that film is just crazy. That shit is wicked. Yo, that one scene got caught me crazy, bro. I was watching it before going to school one day, and I kept thinking about it the whole day too. Where, bro, um, I think one of the dudes got a hole shoved up the ass, and they turned on the valve and they let that shit pop, bro. Nigga went pop goes the weasel, pop. Nigga, his whole asshole popped. Match life. My mom let me watch like five five years old. I was terrified, bro. I'd be terrified too, bro. Can you sleep That's when crazy. you take meth? How many times a day do you have to do meth to feel okay? And what does a meth habit cost somebody a day? Damn, How hard is it to find crazy. around here? How much meth is this on the table right now? Oh, fuck Tommy! 
closing section. Can you take meth and five minutes later walk into town and no one can tell the difference? Yeah. When you first hey. take it, what happens? How long could you go without meth before it starts to feel like an issue? All night. I have to. Has there ever been a shortage of it? Well, you can yeah. find that. Yeah. And what was that like? Can you substitute something else for meth, or does it have to be meth? Yo, to these like are, I, we gotta we gotta go round of applause for Tommy. Cause these are some really good fucking interview questions, bro. The newest wrong turn was filmed in Hocken Hills, and that's so near me. I where I used to live up there, bro. We got yo. Let's let's react to some wrong turn BTS, bro. Like behind the scenes. Are people lacing meth nowadays? How do you know that the stuff that you have isn't laced? Other than white burns, thin lights will turn black. Do you get it from a consistent source? Barely. When you were the source, did you have people coming in and out of your house all the time? No. I had a couple, but they were not like that. Do you see a way to get off of it? Lay down for about a week. And kind of suffer through it? Yeah. I mean, you don't really hurt. You just crave it a little. Do you think you can be a productive member of society on that? I am. For someone like me that has Damn. never tried it, would this be enough to kill me? No. Oh nah, he finna do that shit right in front of him. Oh, you go through your nose. Yeah. Can anyone get high off second hand on this? I would say so, somewhat. I'm gonna drive my car real good back to the hotel. <laughs> Are you sober or high now? I'm always high. Is there any message you would say to the government hey, or to like how we look at it as a country? Stop stupid. Do you hope to get off at one day? And that's a wrap, folks. Thank you for Slowing joining down, us. But you high all day, fam. We'll see you next week. Well, fam, that was the that was a Tommy G experience right there. Let's give my boy a round of applause. There we go. There we go. Round of applause. Alright, family, but I'm gonna catch you on the next one. I love y'all guys. Make sure to watch this video right fucking here. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna catch y'all niggas on the next one, bro. Yeah. It's a little sexy video right here. A little, a little nice little flick right there. Make sure to click on that right now, man. Woo! Nice little video, man. Click on it, bro. It can't, it can't hurt you. I'm only 18 and I've been through so much. You can't comprehend none of the shit that I'm feeling. I feel like I'm losing my soul, but I don't ask for help. I'm just praying that time's gonna hit it. Talk to myself, cause I know who the real is. Still in the end, I'll be doubting myself. Anxiety.